Okay, hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. And I just wanted to make a uh, video on um, the new Source Engine. So uh, this is Half-Life Alex. It is a great game. I uh, haven't finished it yet, but um, I've been playing it, and it is like the graphics on this game are insane. And this game comes with a brand new Source Engine. And you may have seen I just posted a video on um, Source Two um, SFM. It, um, I'll just uh, show you how to do it. So, you have to own Half Life Alex for this to work. By the way, so you just right click on Half Life Alex on Steam, properties, go to DLC, and here Half Life Alex Workshop Tools. You just want to tick this box, and then it will um update your game. And then when you click play, it will say Launch Workshop Tools. Now you just want to click play and it will come up with this and I've already made a little thing here and you just want to press create a new add-on and type in the thing here so this is used to create add-ons which you can also do but it also comes with other stuff as well and then you just click on your thing you've made and click launch tools also untick this um, if you don't want it to be in VR and then it will uh, load up all the uh, stuff it needs it may take a second there you go and now you'll be great with this I haven't really learned this but this is how you make um, add-ons and you can uh, put stuff in here um, in this box if I just make it bigger and you can uh, build maps and stuff and place enemies and then you can play it like um, normal Half-Life without VR and it does still look really cool and you can see all these stuff at the top so these are all the assets in the game here so it's got some stuff from um, Stuff from the, uh, what's it called? Uh, the lab lab game, I forgot what it's called. Uh, and yeah, so that's how you build add-ons, but I haven't really uh, learned too much about that yet. And you can also add uh, your old add-ons from the other SFM. Um, and you, and you uh, do that by um, this uh, modelling tool. Um, it's quite complicated. I've been working on it. Um, there is some tutorials out there on uh, how to port stuff from old SFM and from Blender. So this one can uh, easily port Blender models and stuff because the file types are slightly different. So um, he so here is the SFM icon. So literally you just click this and boom, it opens up SFM and you can just make a new session. And this SFM is a little bit different. Um, Ignore the little red thing, so um, we haven't got a map loaded. So yeah, this is a little bit different. I've sort of learned, but yeah, there's a load of new stuff here for lighting and stuff. So you just want to right click, click set set session map, um, and it will uh, load up all of the maps. Now a lot of these are just white, but there are some here, for example, that are um, loaded up, and I'm just going to go with. Uh, so this is the one I use for that animation I made. I haven't actually looked at the others yet. I'll just go with uh, this one. You can also load up the direct ones from the game, but I'm not quite sure how you do that at the moment. But yeah, you definitely can. So you just have to give it a sec to load. Now this SFM runs a lot better. Now look at the graphics on this. The insane, insane graphics. So yeah, you get the all the same modelling details and graphics from um, Half-Life Alex. Now just look at the detail. I mean, the amount of awesome animations you can make with this. You can even look <laughs> in the toilet thing. There's so much detail in this. People can really make some awesome things with this um, when it's been uh, finished. I mean, not when it's been finished. I mean, when people have made add-ons for it because just whoa just look at that look at the shadows so uh, if you want to import stuff it is a little different um but in the old sfm you had to a uh, left click to move and this one you have to right click and use wasd before uh and this spawn in a character i haven't really messed with these yet but a new camera so you just click on it and then you move it around or drag it in like before then click and then move you have to obviously being the uh, graph editor to do it then models, see this is all different now, so you can actually see uh, the models. So if you just want to spawn in like um, 
I think the dog's in this, isn't it? Yeah, look at the dog. I haven't probably seen the dog yet. But, um, here he is. And how you do this one is you don't hold control to view the bones. You just stop clicking and then you just uh, click the bones. Because if you hold control, it automatically selects loads. So you just don't hold control and just click on a bone. Um, I need to grab his uh, root part and pull him up. This is the new uh, dog model, by the way. I haven't actually seen it yet. But look how shiny and reflective it is. And um, you can still, like, import sequences and stuff. Oh, there's his hip joint. Um, you can um, import sequences. So you can import all the animations from the game. So uh, he was in the game uh, right at the end. And there we go. And have a look at this. Look at how smooth it is. All his animations are really smooth. And you'll be able to see him swing down. He kind of uh, phases out when he goes to the top. You'll be able to see him swing. Oh, look at him go. Oh, and that's where he... Uh, sorry, there's spoilers for this bit. But yeah. And that's the new source engine. And you can uh, do uh, the particle effects as well, like uh, fire and stuff. And you can have the old game particle effects and uh, the new game one. Here you go, this particle effect works. Yeah, look. And look at the uh, fire. It's so high textured. So yeah, that is basically it. You can um, import your own assets, hopefully it will happen soon. And we get this amazing graphics on our SFM animations now. So, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you all later. Bye.